Before we get into this video guys, as a thank you for hitting 25,000 subscribers on YouTube, our friends over at Youngblood Beer have been generous enough to give away an awesome merch pack to three lucky viewers. All you need to do to be in the running to win one of these merch packs is comment on this video and also head over to Youngblood Beer on Instagram and give them a follow. Youngblood are an independent beer company based out of Melbourne, Australia, and their products are seriously good. Currently shipping Australia wide, go check them out. I'd appreciate it. There are links to their social media in the description of this video. And I'll announce the winners right here on YouTube within the week after this video has been posted. All right, let's get started. A fresh wipe. Today, we're doing our first duo adventure series with you know the infamous you know who too now he can't jump on for like another hour or so so i'm gonna try and get us started see if i can find somewhere somewhat appropriate to build man there's already some pretty big bases up Dude, chasing this dude. See you boys. A few moments later. No, dude, fuck. Uh, okay. I think we need to find a place to build. <laughs> oh my god. Classic. Man, wipe day is so rough. I always forget how hard it is on wipe day. Oh! <gasps> what are you doing? Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Let's go. Holy. Let's get out of here. Okay. It is right near outposts. Which might not be bad if I can snag it, not shoot at anyone, and run straight into outposts. That might actually work. How's he not down? Oh, did he just bleed out? I said, oh Lord Jesus, this <gasps> I didn't get his ammo. No, dude, I didn't get his ammo. <laughs> no. Gotta get to outpost. Gotta get to outpost. <laughs> go, go, go. Get to outpost, dude. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, yes. Holy shit. Oh, I'm so sad. I didn't get arrested. It. But fuck me. That's uh, that's pretty good. It's been a pretty decent start so far. Hello. Hello. Bro. Why are you trying to kill me? <laughs> 
<laughs> you dude, you're so easy to confuse. What do you mean? You like you lied to me and said that you were going to the pub. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm on the line of 08 and 09. Yep. Oh fuck yeah. Um, go to like the middle of N8. Let's watch out for the shotgun trap. What? <laughs> I was gonna say I'm already in here. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Hi mate. <laughs> Here, check this down. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Though. Coming. There's two guys. Yeah, there's two. Yeah, yeah, coming. One's on the rock. Mhm. Mm he's like wolf headdress. Mm -hmm. Tag me. Hit one. Got him. Killed him. Nice, this guy's right here on me. Tag him. Hit him again. Hell yeah. Kid drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, they got they got a fair bit of stuff. Thank you very much. Um four kills, you know? It's not a competition, you know. <laughs> Maybe if we build somewhere where we can get get established, like get a fair amount of resources, and then we can like raid people. Oh, there's a fucking, there's a fucking. <laughs> oh my oh God, shit! There's a bear. With you know's witty banter and my unparalleled farming skills, it didn't take us long to gather the resources we needed to start our main base build. There was a shallow water area close to airfield that we'd see nearby. It'd be ideal for both resource farming and component runs. So we got to work. <laughs> Did he just give up? Yeah, I think. Suck it. <laughs> Suck it. Do you want one of these? In other words, do some fucking work, mate. Ooh, that drop back out, base. The drop? Yeah. Can't see it. What do you mean you can't see it? Directly west. No, it's not there for me. Oh. Oh, get out of it. Alright, stand directly in front of me. Alright, you'll see it in the cloud. West. Dire like, just west. It's not there, dude. Oh, little bobs. <laughs> Look how much scrap you got. <laughs> You've got enough for a new workbench. Here you go, mate. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> so things were going pretty well. We had a stacked tool cupboard, and now with a tier 2 workbench down, we could grind to try and get a tier 3. And this is just a quick reminder to find yourself a teammate who gets as excited about med syringes as you know. What'd you make? Uh, I made some med syringes. I'll bring some out for you. No way, <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love me a syringe. Don't make me sound like a drugger. <laughs> yeah, I love me a syringe. Someone's got a fuse in the uh, thing. I just took it out. <laughs> oh, that means someone's downstairs, bro. Yes. Do you have any kind of um, I can, uh, light? Any like flashlight or torch? Oh, they, they're coming this way. I heard them running underneath us. Oh, that wasn't you? No. Oh. <laughs> Dead? Yep. Yeah, yeah, he looted the whole thing. 
pump shotgun, yes. <laughs> I thought when you pulled out that SMG and it's like, chick, chick. <laughs> I was like, yeah, surely yeah. he's not gonna come up. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> And with med syringes in hand and our newly acquired red keycard, we headed to the launch site to keep this run going. Got an armor plate at door. Rocket launcher. Nice. And then to get out, you gotta to come to this little room at the end. You gotta press this switch and then you can get out here. Yes, copy. Successful okay. run from a launch. Pretty good. That more or less concluded day one for us, so we logged off for the night. We'd had our losses, but for the most part, we'd been running the area. We were better equipped and had progressed faster than the groups building nearby. But yeah, that didn't last very long. Shit, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Wake up, you know! We got neighbors! That's not good, man. That is not good. Damn, sounds like the the group up the hill are starting to progress as well. Running SARS and Deagles. Well, that's uh, that's gonna prove difficult for us. I'm gonna try and get a TC down. Hey, hello. Hello. Hey, dude. So, which one? The new massive base, like right next to us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you okay? Yep. I just killed him. What's his name? Uh, little boy Ollie. Yeah, you got me outside. Yeah, it's on the roof. Of our base. Yeah, you let it up. So yeah, we had little boy Ollie and Kyrex evolved as the only two players we'd seen so far in our new neighbor's base. Considering the size of this base though and how quickly it went up, we expected they were part of a bigger clan. And later on messaging this guy, it turned out they were actually part of a clan of 8 players. It was clear that we couldn't let them move in. Their choice to build there was disrespectful to say the least. To try and stop them from expanding, I placed an external tool cupboard to limit how big a compound they could make. And yeah, pretty much we had a new priority of business for the day. To remove Kyrex Evolved and Little Boy Ollie before they grew too strong. As well as placing an external tool cupboard, both Yuno and myself had devised plans on how to slow these guys in their progression. And I don't like to name and shame, but some of these plans were good. I kind of want to go down that little triangle on their roof. And some were mediocre at best. And a knock on their door from over here by shooting a bow at it. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Oh, dude. Did you get inside? <gasps> I'm in. Oh, no. Oh. Dude, I'm in. I'm deep. Oh, my God. Quick, come right. in, come in. Get to come right now, right now. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> Gotta get back. Destroy their bags. Destroy their bags. They're here, they're back. Oh, 
Oh, they're in, they're in, they're in, they're in. He's got a shotty. Fuck, dude. I couldn't really get out because I didn't have any heals and the uh, shotgun trap, it kind of trapped me in there. Yeah. But I was going to shoot the... Uh, fuck. I should have done that first. I should have shot the tool cupboard out. Oh, oh man. They had so much shit in there. Got him. Oh, nice. <laughs> the sneak attack. He's going to be <laughs> filthy. He's going to hate you. Dude, we are making... <laughs> Making some enemies right Making now. Enemies, yeah, After seeing what was inside their walls, <laughs> these guys meant business. And it was clear that if we didn't get rid of them, they were going to raid us the first chance they got. It was time for you know and I to get serious if we wanted to survive this wipe. Banana <laughs> As I was saying, we needed to get serious. So we farmed up a bunch of sulfur, crafted a ton of gunpowder, and converted that into bean cans and satchel charges. I was also able to look back on the footage I'd recorded so far to estimate how much boom we needed to get into their loot room, provided they hadn't put down too many additional yeah. doors. But since we only had satchel charges learned, we also anticipated that this probably wouldn't be the cleanest of raids. And that turned out to be a huge understatement. No, seriously, this was probably the worst executed raid that I've ever been involved in. But that was clearly in the future for us at the time, so we got the raid started nonetheless. Okay, here we go. Stand back. <laughs> oh no, I missed! Oh fuck. Oh god. What a disaster already. <laughs> oh, it didn't work. <gasps> yeah, cool. It didn't work. <laughs> Thank oh, it allowed me to pick it up. Definitely not getting in. <laughs> yeah, we'd underestimated how many satchels we'd needed to complete this raid. So we ended up going out for another farm run, smelted up some more sulfur and crafted enough satchels to hopefully finish off the raid. If there's a shotgun trap in here, I'm fucked. I'm actually dead. Yeah. Finally, we were through. As the last garage door separating us from our hard-earned loot crumbled, so did my hopes and dreams as I stood face to face with an auto turret. And this was the beginning of a very, very, very painful raid. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> I'm like at the point of like laughing, but also crying. <laughs> like action. And just as we thought this was the end of the road for old Gigi and you know who too. Oh, I'm through. Bro, I'm through. I'm through. Well, like you made I'm it. Through. I'm through. I'm through. What do you mean? I'm through. I got through. Like. What, the turret stopped shooting? Or? Yeah. You know, wasn't confident that we were through, but I confirmed that we were definitely through. So after what felt like an eternity trying to drain a well-placed turret, finally, we'd made it. Maybe when I edit this video, I'll just make it look like a real simple raid. <laughs> oh, right. under high call. Oh, dude, look how many components there are. Holy shit, dude. So worth it. So many rad suits. What's oh, this? dude. Dude, 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 look under the TC. Under the... Oh, my God. <laughs> the C4 and 14 satchels. Bro, they were gonna oh. raid us. They were gonna raid us. They were 100% gonna raid us, dude. The pain we'd endured turned out to definitely be worth it. Almost regaining what we'd spent in explosives and also an entire box of weapons. Great success. <laughs> but we were exhausted, so called it there for the night. What we were about to find out is that little boy Ollie and his mate were in fact part of a much bigger group, like we'd anticipated. And, well, they had some allies on this server as well. They had built right on our doorstep, but we'd hit them with an offline raid. It was pretty clear that we'd fast-tracked ourselves to becoming a priority as a raid target. The next day I woke up and, to my surprise, we weren't raided. So I went out for an early farm to stack the furnaces before Yuno joined me. The plan was to head out and do some PvP runs, and then raid some of the smaller bases nearby. How good was that shot last, like from last night, the one that I hit you? Yeah, that was, that was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, dude, he's dead. Holy shit! Whoa, guy upstairs. Need your shotty. Oh, I'm down. Got him. I do think we should skedaddle back to base. So, drop everything off we found. Double barrels there. Yeah, they're in. Is he no? Dropped one. Dead. Killed one. Downstairs. Yeah, I'll just get another one. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh my god. How many shotguns do you have? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, <laughs> twelve. <laughs> oh yeah, I got another rat suit too. So I'll put that in the thingy. Oh, road time. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's ready, ready. Oh, he's AK. Fuck. I've crashed, I think, man. I think I crashed as well because they're frozen for me. Hey, what? Oh, dude. Oh. Dude, dude, dude. Anyway. They're both dead. <laughs> they're away, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. Poor guy, dude. It wasn't an LR and an AK. Yeah, yeah, I got an AK and an LR. <laughs> oh. Oh, so that'd be so. Unlucky. That'd be so <laughs> pissed, dude. We'll avoid the bear. Yeah. Then if they run out, they're cooked. So you just reckon this back corner or something? Which one? I reckon right in the center. <laughs> like this right side, here. this one. Yeah, right here. The first raid we did that day was underwhelming, to say the least. They got explosive fire fire then. And since our raids were going so well this wipe, we also tried raiding a group of three or four who lived between us and the airfield. The plan was simple, ladder over the compound wall and raid straight through the doors with explosive ammo and satchel charges. I died. I'm dead. I'm dead. He's got all my shit. No, nah, come back. I killed him. I killed him. Okay, I'm coming. I'm gonna start, dude. Yeah, go for it. Is that you? Nah, that's not me. He's dead again. Uh, I'm dead to a shotgun trap. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, rip. That, that went bad from the get-go. <sighs> Once we'd uh, recovered from the trauma of our raid experiences from this wipe, we tried taking down the chopper with the hopes of getting some easy C4 and rockets to try yeah, some more raids. Thank you. Dude, it's gonna go down, surely. Ah, oh, I died. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, it's going down! It's down! <laughs> I died, and then I think I... Fucking computer. Oh, that was shit. That was the worst chopper ever. Unfortunately, we got unlucky with the chopper loot, but not as unlucky as this bloke who was leaving his base to go on a raid with the worst timing imaginable. Holy shit. Bruh. So to summarize, so far this wipe, we'd offline raided a clan of eight who'd built next to us, stolen AK kits from two guys whose games had crashed at airfield, failed an online raid against another clan who lived nearby, and taken down the chopper while the server was completely full with a queue to get in. We could just sense that something was brewing for us, and not long after, we'd find out what that was. It's like people are like saving up their raids until the very end of the wipe. Yeah, which makes no sense. Yeah, pointless. Go for some care packages or something, maybe? Yeah, I'm down. Oh, what? Speaking of... Dude, that drops pretty close. 
Yeah, no. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh shit, we're getting raided, dude. We're getting raided. Oh, oh shit. Like actual, there's... <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Three people. There's four of them. Yeah, we're raided. Get inside and shut all the doors. <laughs> it's the end. <laughs> it's the end, dude. Yeah, that's C4. Here we go. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's dude. a rocket. <laughs> I'm just gonna shower these doors on the inside. That's another rocket. <laughs> I feel like they're coming right in like the spot that we don't want them to come in. Bro, there. Can you see them? No. They're shooting our, um, our garage door. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. The, f the one that's. Fuck, we should have had a shotgun trap. <laughs> Wait, which one? Which one are they shooting? You know the one where we have our um... I killed one? Yeah. Like, are they in the bottom level where the loot room is, or...? I th think... No, no, no. They got that freaking turret there. Dude, I killed one. I killed another one. Can you try and tell me where they are? Yeah, I'm going up to the roof. Alright, there. See where our arm. Yeah, they're about to get into the TC room. The, not the TC, the one where the shotgun trap is. Yeah. I'm just going to start moving loot. Yeah. Yeah, they're in like they're already halfway in. <laughs> Just gonna see if I can place a door down. <laughs> no, I'm spawning back the main base. <laughs> I just put a uh, I just put a door on the on the wall there. Just don't have any wood. You know what I reckon they're doing? I reckon they're stalling while they get more explosives. Yeah. Because they're shooting the wall, like, so we can't can't repair it. So these guys were essentially into our main loot. There was one garage door separating them from our tool cupboard and all of our best gear. With no wood to try and patch the base and the rest of our weapons held hostage near the TC, we were pressed for options. 
safe. I was sure I'd checked all the boxes for wood, but then I came across a stack of 400 hiding in the barbecue. This was our last chance to patch the base and fend off the raiders, who'd already used 2C4 and countless rockets trying to get in. Oh, dude, I found some wood. There's two still running around the area. One. Just sealed up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> that was fast as shit, boy. <laughs> what, what's happening where our shotgun trap? Nothing. It's just open, but like, they're not bothering with that spot. They're not going near it. Okay. Which I don't know why they would just shoot it. I'm going to try and seal it up. Yeah, best time to do it. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 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 oh man, did we just save this raid? And just as quickly as they came, they left. <laughs> How many rockets did they use? I heard a C4 at least. That was the first door. <laughs> uh, it's funny as I I expected that they were gonna raid the whole thing. That's what I thought. After countless laughs and fails, and a few wins, the tale of Harvey's and Yuno's first duo Rust adventure comes to a close. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Don't forget that if you want a chance at winning some free shit, make sure that you drop a comment on this video, and I'll announce the winners here on YouTube in a community post sometime during the week. Take it easy guys, I'll see you next time.